as most of you have seen by now that we recently reviewed Oppo Reno 11F, its specification and its features. Now we have Oppo Reno 11, which is the same series mein se ek variant hai, Reno series. Mein se. Now, we have a device kafi similar to the Oppo Reno 11F, but we will still discuss it in details uh, the software, hardware, similarities, etc. etc. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, we have the box with us. Paperwork, paperwork, and a lot of paperwork. And this SIM ejector tool. With this, we have uh, a back cover. Now we have the phone with us. We'll come to it later. A 67 watt super woke charger and USB C 2.0 cable. The device is now in hand. First impression very similar to Oppo Reno 11F, lightweight and thin. Although I see some differences like this back design, 11F had ocean blue texture scheme which Oppo calls magnetic particle design. Uh, on this device it is called shimmering silk craftsmanship. I bet, I bet you can say it twice, it's not complex name, but it is what it is. Design ko further evaluate kare to 7.99mm ki thickness hai, along with 3D curved edges. Matlab, jo screen aur back hai wo jo bezels mein curve ho hai. Camera module is similar to 11F, well not similar. Camera bump ki baat kare to camera bump is uh, bigger than 11F. Apart from this, uh, this device has no physical fingerprint mount. It does have uh, on-display fingerprint. Dual SIM hai, or agar single SIM or jo hai apna SD card expandable bhi hai. Upar IR blaster hai, or USB Type C charging port hai. 3.5 millimeter ki jo uh, audio jack hai. It is not available anywhere on this device. So that is all for the physical appearance. Display ki baat kare, to display is similar to 11F, 6.7 inch ka AMOLED display hai, 120Hz refresh rate curved screen. Specifications ke ilawa usability ko define kare to yes, a very very good looking screen. 2412 by 1080 ki resolution hai, jo I agree it's not conventional but goes along with the size of this device. 500 nits maximum brightness hai, which is not bright but okay. And most importantly, HDR10+, Plus, which is a 10-bit screen, and I haven't seen in more devices. I'll give you hands-on experience. It is gorgeous. Now, the cameras. Let us highlight the cameras first. The main camera is 50 megapixel. It is Sony LYT600 sensor. It has face detection, autofocus, and OIS, which is optical image stabilization. Second would be the 32 megapixel portrait camera with 2x optical zoom. Oppo ne isko portrait expert ka naam diya hai and I think they are right on this. Uh, the portrait images are really crisp, clear. Uh, the background bouquet is as good as compared to a DSLR phone and a phone achieving all of this is really a big deal. So I was really surprised at first glance that uh, it is really good. And lastly, the 8 megapixel 16mm ultra wide camera, which is uh, uh, basically what the name suggests an ultra wide camera to take uh, wider pictures. Front camera, ki baat kare, toh front camera is 32 megapixel, which to my surprise, and I'm really surprised by this, that this is wider than usual. Uh, I don't know what kind of sensor this is, but it is truly wide. Like, I have used a lot of phones in front camera. Use ki hai. Uh, it, they are not as wide as this and, and I actually prefer this. Baki the image quality is crisp, clear, uh, quality is really good. Th uh, even though the lighting at the studio is really good too, but uh, the quality is really nice. Iske baad video ki baat kare, toh, both front and back supports 4K. It does have a ultra steady feature. It supports like 1080, 60 FPS, so uh, no 4K on that. Now one of the biggest improvement I've seen in a while and that would be the color OS. Honestly speaking, props to Oppo for refining their UI so elegantly. Color OS 14 is not only amazingly aesthetic but 
also so light on the eye and you know moreover the oppo has also confirmed that oppo reno 11 series will get 3 year of os update and 4 years of security update i mean that is a very pretty good deal and that too seems feature proof to me also some very useful features like file dock a dock like clipboard which save pictures on the go and you can simply access them by dragging and dropping not just pic- picture text too smart touch which can extract text and pictures from screenshot and save it on the file dock too and you can use it you know copy it and paste it and also the images on the website or whatever file you want to extract it from baki uh, the, the third useful feature is the smart image mating uh, which is basically you know it cuts the subject out of your picture and make it and uh, make it it an instant sticker which i mean is not really an innovation but uh, very useful stuff indeed enhancing the feel of color os they have integrated train the engine Uh, which basically optimizes the device matlab uh, ram clearance rom clearance ram aur rom ki baat hi kar rahe hain to 12 gb of ram and 256 gb of rom this variant i have in my hand is 256 gb moreover the chipset this phone has is a mediatek uh, dimensity 7050 uh, which is 6 nanometer chipset uh, it has 5000 mah uh, battery with 67 watt fast charging Lastly uh, what i want to talk about that these mono speakers you know they look small but uh, oppo has enhanced them uh, 300% through software to you know ro- rock the room literally they are so loud that is all for the video hope you have liked this review uh, please consider subscribing to our channel also visit our social uh, on instagram and on facebook like and follow there as well Also ring the notification bell so you don't miss any update from us. Write down at the comments below that what suggestion you have if this phone is for you or not. We will meet with you at another time with another re- review. Till then, take care. Allah bless.